Hello fellas, it's Gav uh, with a, another update on what's on the bench. Uh, I'm sorry it's been a while since I've put a video up. Uh, it's not so much that I've got a life and been doing other things, it's just I've had a, a, a completely full workbench. that has been stinking hot here, with, so we've had windows open and um, obviously all the ambient noise around, you, you just couldn't, uh, every time I tried to shoot a video there was just so much racket going on, it wasn't worth it. So. Um, I'm having another attempt. Uh, I've bought myself a, uh, a little light to, to try and light up the, the workbench slightly when I'm doing vids. Um, hold £10. Uh, there's nothing too good for you guys. I will throw the money at, to, at this channel. So, um, you know, no expense spared. So let's, uh, let's get on with the update. Uh, on the left are the periplastic 28mm carabiniers. I've been working on for a while. As I said before on other vids when I've shown them, this really is just I put two on the workbench and you know throw some paint on them when I've, I've got a chance. So I wasn't expecting these to to get completed anytime soon. But um, to the right of the trumpeter, I've um, just painted two more. And yes, they look exactly like the others more or less. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's uh, you've seen one carabiner, you've seen them all, I suppose, really. Um, on the right are. Uh, um, commission work I'm working on at the moment for cavalry units uh, which are AB uh, 15 stroke 18 millimeter uh, Empress Dragoons um, I'm going to go in for a bit of a close-up now uh, and we'll see if we can uh, get a bit of a you know a bit of a closer shot in we're going for the Empress first here we go I dare not go much closer than that um, yeah so they're, they're quite a uh, an in-depth, as with a lot of the French units are, obviously quite an in-depth uh, regiment to paint up. Um, the Aurora Orange, which is like a yellowy, or in my, in my opinion, a yellowy orange. Uh, obviously, it's hard to get that straight out of the bottle, so you have to do two or three applications. Um, there's uh, the, the greens aren't aren't too bad to highlight. So I, I tend not to like over highlighting darker colours. Uh, just because you completely change the the tones and it's you know it's not what the uniform's supposed to represent. Uh, the horses are really nice to paint. Uh, they're done in bays, uh, darks and lights, um, which is what the the Empress mainly rode when they they were up to full full issue. Uh, obviously, there's a trumpeter on there right, riding a grey dapple. Uh, very nice to to, to paint. Um, I had a lot of fun with them. Uh, all painted in uh, Vallejo acrylics mostly models uh, colors but with a few uh, game colors in there as well because I like the uh, the, the, the extra extra pigments that game colors give you uh, so it gives you a bit more depth to the to the paint as you're putting it on so I'll lift a couple of these up we'll start with one of the uh, one of the carabiniers uh, I've recently painted oh I think we better actually here we go that looks a bit better so yeah, this is a carabinier, um, just completed. Not had any varnish on yet. I'm sorry about the uh, shaky hands, but I'm trying to keep the video going at the same time. I've tried highlighting the brass. I've got a new way of highlighting the brass work on them. Um, so it's uh, not too dulled down, but it stands out nicely as a highlight, because as you know, metallic, it's always it's if if you just put in metallic paint if you go for say a brass even if you put what I mean I'll I'll go through what I do quickly with these these helmets if you know if you fancy trying it yourself uh, the the helmet is painted in some very light color brown U.S. field drab something like that um, German camo brown or Vallejo colors it uh, is then um, I think Gav quickly uh, brass mixed with sepia. Uh, again, you'll just have to find which tone works for you, but uh, mix some sepia in with the brass. That'll take that sparkliness out slightly. Put that on. I then use some form of chestnut ink. Uh, I use the Vallejo facial uh, type ink. It's no good. I don't like it for faces. I don't ink faces, but um, it is good for putting a, getting in all the creases of the fluting on these Minerva helmets. So I've done that. And then I've put uh, beige and polished uh, gold together 
and it'll look really silly. You know, it'll look like white almost on your helmet that you've just made a nice, you know, brassy colour. But what it does is the next step, which is just polished gold itself, but quite thin. It gives it. It's hard to show here, but it'll it'll stand out uh, as if you know you've got the sun on it or you've polished that particular piece. If it really stands out too much, you can also go over with a thin sepia ink afterwards. But to be honest with you, these are war gaming figures. Uh, they don't really need it. So there you go. There's my. Um, let me just see if I put my hand. Behind. I don't know if that's going to help if I put my hand behind it. Hiding a bit of the light, really, but there you go. You can't see many of the uh, highlights on the horse. The highlights being on the horse has been, um, I believe, I used whole red on this one. Uh, never, I never paint a black horse. It's uh, black with whole red in, I believe. Um, so I use so many highlights. I try and put different highlights on the horses so they don't all look the same. But um, I believe that's got whole red in it, and then. Uh, a light application, a whole red on top, but it has to be very thin down, obviously, or you end up with a dark red horse or like a dark chestnut horse, which uh, these weren't. So that's him. I'll have a brief look at. Uh, let's try and take a look at a Empress 15 mil. Same principle was used on this guy here as I've used on the helmets. So you'll see how the brass on the saddle cloth. Um, shows out because it's got a it's got a beige stroke polished gold uh, background to it again it's like everything isn't it? it's how how far you want to go into it you know you just want to you know a quick fix to get them on the tabletop then obviously you're not going to bother with that you're just going to do a some type of brass work with maybe a wash over but if you want to go into a bit more in depth you know that's something you can look at He's a trooper when I can get into focus. The orange work here, it looks actually darker orange than it is. It's, it's actually quite a light yellowy orange. Um, no, I can't get that looking any better. I'm sorry for the dancing, dancing dragoon. Again, helmet's done the same, same as the uh, the larger scale 28. Again, I'm I'm shielding some of the light there. I do apologise, but there's not much I can do about it really. Uh, so that's that. And then just quickly, not Napoleonic related. Uh, these have been on my social media stuff already, Facebook and all that type of stuff. But there's uh, and my blog, Furphy's Brush with History. These are English three pounders. Uh, same poses, I've just moved them around the gun slightly. There's one. There we go, focus. Just done a few different colours. Royal Artillery at this time didn't have um, a set uniform, um, but I've painted them all in red, um, some, with some, with some with different cuffs. So there we go. Um, sorry about yet another long-winded video. Um, if you're looking for a shorter one, you might have to walk on by and try somebody else. Um, yeah, I've got this little £10 light, uh, and I've got it mainly because I was hoping to do a couple of tutorials, if there's any interest. Uh, maybe, you know, doing some... Uh, I've got some 28 mil casualties in the set with these peri-plastics, uh, some British and some French. I thought maybe doing some, some tutorials on cold cold grey, uh, cold whites, as in with grey backgrounds, warm whites with obviously warm backgrounds um, and uh, you know different jackets and things like that but also mainly also to to see if we can get um, painting. I've had a, um, sorry I'm doing lots of ums now because this is all unscripted as usual. I've got a ship waiting, been waiting for painting and rigging for the past month, a uh, French third rate uh, 74 gun so I thought we might try and have some fun painting that together and uh, see, what a, <laughs> see what a mess we can do with that. So guys, thanks for sticking by me. whole nine minutes now. I this was going to be a three minute video. 
so thanks for, for stopping by and having a look and for all your support and uh, you know comments and the likes and that that I receive. I do appreciate it. I don't always say it, but uh, I do I do appreciate it. So good luck with all your projects and uh, hopefully we will catch up soon. Cheers, guys.